IT Worker Storytelling. Yang Yo Ryu, December 2012, plmis.tstory.com. If you can't explain it easily and simply to others, it's because you lack understanding about it. Einstein. Even if I explain PLM to customers diligently, feedback is complicated, difficult, and when I hear the answer that I really have questions about what to do, I think that it is because I lack understanding, because I did not explain well, or if PLM is really difficult. Sometimes I try hard to explain something to my wife. Then the wife. What's so complicated, can you explain it a little easier? I'm still not sure what you do at the company. Well, the salary is good, but... Chapter 11. New Challenge. Asked her wife at the end of 2000, shortly after the IMF passed. Shall we go to Seoul? As she worked 364 days out of 365 days a year, my wife, who silently watched me beside her, knew how much I liked her new job and came to a conclusion. Why not, and, so what? Although this one word loosened many of the strings that were entangled in me, my wife didn't know what I was going to do in the future. You'll do well. In fact, it was a new adventure to do something new outside of design, which is my identity. What can I do? What can I do well? What do I want to do? These questions were constantly thrown at me. At that time, if I had serious conversations with people like my mentors, I think that maybe I would still be living a different life as a designer. I tried a lot to invite the seniors I respect to the company, but it was not easy to say that I was leaving. And the fact that I put down the knowledge I had learned so far in one moment and did something else made me stop in place over and over again. However, I struggled with the design problems pouring down, and I had joy, frustration, and a little bit of anger. Who the hell am I working so hard for, and for what? In a word, I gradually needed an escape. Once here, after twists and turns, the day to put an end to the design work came, and on the last day of the dinner, I held on to my senior without realizing it and cried a lot. Because of the regret of leaving behind the fear of the future and the past in which I invested my youth. Chapter 12. Forget the past. The first place to start as an IT company was Silicon Graphics, SGI, which is famous for its graphic supercomputers and virtual reality, such as Cray, Indigo, and Onyx. The first day I went to work at SGI, located on Tehran RO, it was completely different from the IT company I usually thought of, and it seemed all the more so because it was a foreign company. Job classification is SE System Engineer. That is, it was pre-sales. Unlike manufacturing companies, personal work is important. I don't know who is doing what, and work instructions are given to each person by email in English, so I spent the first month fighting English. About two weeks after joining the company, the news of a 10% job cut flew by. What's this? My wife was in a fuss about why she moved to the company, and after a while, I learned that foreign companies at that time usually reduced their jobs by paying consolation money and letting them go, so long-serving people waited in line. Looking back now, it was a really good time. My current wife has also improved a lot and is one step ahead of me. At that time, my main job was SGI Workstation Technical Support for Katia users and Workstation Selling Support. It was to discover needs for workstations, install and tune Workstation OS, install Katia v4 and perform performance tests, report errors in use, and solve problems. When I was in the field, if there was a problem with the system, an engineer would come running to fix it with a single phone call, but now I was playing that role. Actually, I'm talking now, but I had no understanding of SGIIRIXOS as I had only dealt with IBM equipment. I didn't lie and only looked at the exterior of the equipment in the logs, so the price I paid for my hard work came back to studying every night and suffering physically and mentally. No way without real experience. In the meantime, my ears were opened when I heard the advice of my favorite junior colleague, Ryu Pyong Su, from another department. For the time being, try installing all the OSs of all the demo systems. Doing it yourself is the best teacher. SGIIRIX consists of 10 OS CDs, and the process of selecting while keying in the questions during installation is repeated. This is because it asks for options for each device specification that differs from system to system. 
once, twice, until the third OS installation, I received a lot of help from around me. There were so many things to know, but so many. In that way, when the equipment installation was over 10 or 20 times, confidence was born, and I thought that I could endure here now. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Pyongsu. Thank you Paul. While I was struggling like that, about a month after joining the company, I went to a company picnic with Meng Yang Seje. I remember that Dong Dongju and Pajan made by the owner were the main menu items. I don't know what it is, but that day I had a crazy night. Since I had just joined the company, I ate the makgeolli that was given to me, and I passed out after hitting a close team senior, Chan So Kong, in a situation where the film was cut without my knowledge. Even thinking about it now, I don't know why. He helped and taught me a lot, but I am ungrateful. I'm sorry Chan Dal Hung. I couldn't remember anything after two glasses of makgeolli that day, and when I woke up in the morning, it was a mess. The blanket, the clothes. After that day, I had to pay for my fame. Hey, it's filmed now however, thanks to this, it became an opportunity to get closer to my colleagues at the company. My first customer was the Hyundai Mobi's Mabukri Research Center. Yung Wan Yung, who was in charge of the system at the time, was an unforgettable customer to me. He doesn't know what he's doing right now, but he actually knows more than I do because he uses the system every day, and he explained in detail what process he went through to reproduce the problem. It was a godsend to meet such a customer. From that moment on, it became an opportunity for me to leave my pride at home. Time flies and six months have passed, and I have a small goal. Something that made me forget the past, something that made me who I am today. Chapter 13. Put your passion into what you want to do. At that time, automobile companies were in full swing from Katia V4 to V5, and it was time to start DMU with V5. The decisive opportunity to encounter virtual reality, which was unfamiliar at the time, came to me, and it was a program called CATIA V5 Immersive Review developed for BMW. This program is currently similarly installed as CATIA V5 DMU VR function, but at the time of 2001, SGI developed it based on Katia V5 DMU Navigator, and some European automakers were introducing and applying it. In Korea, Hyundai Motors introduced CAVE at that time and began to examine this solution. In the winter of that year, after a twist and turns fracture, a German engineer was invited and a demonstration was conducted at CAVE to confirm the possibility. Most of all, it was so much fun to maximize the design experience I had in expressing the excitement of being able to go back to my previous place of work, Katia, and design, design data in VR. I focused almost all of my thoughts on this and did a lot of thought and research on how to sell it well. But the ordeal didn't get out of my way, and before I knew it, my front road was blocked. Alas. While it was the best in terms of maturity and value of the solution, there were problems with the sales channel because the sales forecast was too limited. Afterwards, the notification from the head office that it was impossible to sell outside of Europe led to great disappointment at the customer company, and they began to consider other VR tools. As I was looking at this right away, I could only look up at the sky. This is life. Currently, various tools are used for design evaluation. In the meantime, I went out to provide dedicated support as a CAVE system pre-sales engineer for Hyundai Motor Company, and I learned a lot in my own way while watching the test process in CAVE system installation. A major issue occurred with the system shortly before the system was open. When CAVE spreads an image on a pentahedron, it creates a three-dimensional shape with the immersive VR function, and a yellow band appears connected to two or three faces, which puzzled the person concerned. Since this is a phenomenon that everyone has never seen before, an emergency meeting was called, and inspections were conducted one by one, but no problems were found in the screen, projector, etc. Except for the SGI area. All that remains is the SGI Onyx graphics supercomputer and software called Performer. In this system, we called a VR expert based in Singapore to figure out the problem of this problem. He was a renowned expert on some of the Lord of the Rings graphics we are familiar with. The expert saw the phenomenon that it was too different even if it was different, and reproduced it with a bowl as a sample example. And what a great person and exclamation came spontaneously. 
A bigger exclamation sent a file that reproduced the problem to a friend who graduated from Stanford University and worked at a VR equipment company at the time, and this friend looked at the problem file at the VR center in Stanford University and analyzed the cause. I finally figured out the cause. The cause turned out to be an open GL source defect, and after solving the problem with just a simple text input, I felt really proud. Yay wonderful life! Chapter 14 Dive into the life of an IT worker. Virtual reality has changed my life 180 degrees. It made me feel what passion is, and it has developed into a hobby beyond work. At the time, there was a VR center in the SGI Seoul office, and a new sense of challenge arose while looking at the VR equipment installed at the customer company, and since then, making VR renderings has become the most fun. Afterwards, I had the opportunity to visit KAIS TVR Cave, Nissan VR Center, EDS VR Center, and Ford VR Center and had various experiences. This experience of mine later led to a live demonstration using Ford Mondeo vehicle data for prominent Nissan car designers at the Nissan Design Center, and it became an unforgettable experience for me. In addition, while visiting the EDS VR Center in Troy, which is located above Detroit, several times, I was able to see various VR demonstrations commissioned by GM, which served as an opportunity to further expand my knowledge. Design tape drawing using airbag deployment program, motion capture simulation, one-to-one -one shape display. The current Google headquarters building in Mountain View, Silicon Valley, was the SGI headquarters building 10 years ago. The 22 buildings, painted in unique colors, tell of the glory of SGI in the past. Then, due to poor management, the buildings were sold, and the owners of many of the buildings all changed. At that time, in the headquarters building, you could see the Egyptian Sphinx and pyramids in virtual reality and see them in person. Gorgeous colors, realistic feel. And at the large VR center, a remote collaboration project was in full swing. Chapter 15. Pride. When you go to work in the morning, leave your worries and pride at home. Instead, come out with passion and greed. The basis of business is give and take. If one of the two cannot be established, it is one-sided rather than business, and it does not help much in life. The knowledge you know today will someday change to the past, and if you don't update it all the time, it will be eliminated in an instant. But the experience always remains in my head, in my heart. And I have to be good to the people around me. Aside from my family, my co-workers who I share the most time with are the treasures I should cherish the most. Could this be self-esteem? One day when I was thinking about loving myself and caring for others, the idea that I should share the knowledge I gained from someone came to me in a corner of my heart. The opportunity was to ask the people I met every week and exchange business cards with, how to make them remember me for a longer time, and at the end of deliberation, I thought about my story that happened every week so that the people I had met at least once could receive an email every Monday morning. It was the beginning of the current Monday letter that started with, let's send. In the next issue, we will start with the story behind the Monday letter and chapter 15 of IT Workers. I went to work today and I'm grateful that I have something to do and that I can help someone. And I have to be good to the people around me. Aside from my family, my co-workers who I share the most time with are the treasures I should cherish the most. Could this be self-esteem? One day when I was thinking about loving myself and caring for others, the idea that I should share the knowledge I gained from someone came to me in a corner of my heart. The opportunity was to ask the people I met every week and exchange business cards with, how to make them remember me for a longer time, and at the end of deliberation, I thought about my story that happened every week so that the people I had met at least once could receive an email every Monday morning. It was the beginning of the current Monday letter that started with, let's send. In the next issue, we will start with the story behind the Monday letter and chapter 15 of IT Workers. I went to work today and I'm grateful that I have something to do and that I can help someone. Do the big things first. Small things will take care of themselves. Dale Carnegie. I want to be a person who looks back on the past year and smiles. Before the year begins anew, I write a mission statement to set a new mindset. Chapter 15. What are my standards for work? I think rediscovering what once had the passion, coming, and sense of duty that heated my heart would be a joy in life. 
As I struggled, I sometimes heard bitter voices. It seems to work just to show off. Wouldn't it be the virtue of an engineer to just silently carry out a given task? It's not a big deal, but it's a very important thing. Choice and focus. Now that I think about it, I think it is sometimes necessary to let people know who I am. However, if you pay attention to refrain from expressions that go beyond my capabilities. However, this may not be correct either. If I am the same as everyone else, who will buy my value? It always requires selection and concentration. There are many people around who say they don't want to hear anything bad about anyone. However, if you are in your 30s, you can do as you say, but when you enter your 40s, you will be tested by people. That friend doesn't have much, but he has skills. If you don't have the skills or the money, you won't be able to do anything. Standard of living. What are my standards? Put your passion into what you want to do. It is also motto who lives life. What I want to do. It doesn't mean that the work is really fun, but if it's something I have to do, I try to make it fun and something I want to do. It's about finding pleasure. There are joys and sorrows in anything, and the question of which one to choose among them always follows me in the past and now. If you live with passion, sometimes you may encounter opposition from people around you, and you may feel lonely. I think the key is how to overcome it well. Chapter 16. Meet the Graphic Guru. In January 2002, around the time of supporting Hyundai Motor Company's CAVE system, an opportunity arose to meet the collective intelligence in the graphics field. Silicon Valley Mountain View, home of SGI's headquarters. Just hearing the name made me think it was really cool. At that time, it was a culture of simply drinking beer during lunchtime, and since I drank a bottle or two, I listened to the seminar in a hazy state, not just because of jet lag. In the afternoon session, a quiz was given. With software called Performer, which was famous as a graphic development tool at the time, I made maybe 10,000 bowls to fill the screen and released them in the background of the city. The quiz is that at least five of those bowls made a code error. The quiz was who quickly found the five bowls in error. As a beginner in programming, I was left blankly thinking about what to do, then I asked the instructor what to do and followed what he taught, but when I got stuck in the next step, I had no choice but to wait. After about five minutes, one person raised their hand and said they found them all. And a little more, so a few more people raised their hands. As expected, it was a feast for the gurus, so I felt great. At that time, I heard that some members were involved in computer graphics such as Lord of the Rings. At that time, my only concern was how to remove the afterimages in the cave room, and finding out what I could do for that was the homework given to me. Chapter 17. No prescription should be given until the problem has been accurately diagnosed. After the afterimage problem in the cave room was registered in the head office system as a PR, problem report, a person in charge of the head office was assigned. After making several calls and sharing the progress, all I could do was wait. In the meantime, when can it be solved, what was the problem and how is the solution? After some frustrating time passed, I was contacted that a solution had been found, but the problem was an open GL source code issue, and after simply entering the code in one line, the problem disappeared like a lie. Several people were mobilized to solve the problem, and after reproducing the same problem, the expected cause of the error was searched for as a use case. One here. No prescription should be given until the problem has been accurately diagnosed. It is thought to be one of the factors that cause another issue and slow down the resolution of the problem. The core of global communication here is patience and will. If you need absolute time and have patience and perseverance to wait, you can say that you have the basic qualities of great global communication. Chapter 18. Feeling the true taste of pre-sales. One day when I couldn't fully understand the job of pre-sales. Automotive-related companies have been requesting a CAD license operation compatibility test to convert idle CAE equipment to CAD equipment after the IMF. At first, I thought I would be able to proceed with the manual without thinking. The problem was that the license server was operated as a heterogeneous server, so a problem was later found that was not recognized by other companies' equipment due to various options, etc., and I was quite embarrassed. I also contacted the person in charge of the CAD branch in France, but they said there was nothing special other than what was in the guide. 
After thinking about it, I asked for advice from director Song, who was in charge of sales at the time. Chief Ryu. If it were me, I think I would definitely root out this opportunity. Where can I find such a good opportunity? After looking at the manual again, organizing heterogeneous setup scenarios, I went to the customer. After resetting the license server for a few days, I tested it, but it works well with SGI devices, but it doesn't work between heterogeneous devices. So, I asked the person in charge of the field to check the currently operating license server, and requested changes to some heterogeneous settings. But even after that, he didn't respond. Give and take, conditional on critical moments. It was impossible because it was an operating server, so I decided to reboot during lunchtime due to circumstances. Instead, if it doesn't work this time, it's now a condition that you will be excluded from the new server purchase target. After accepting the conditions and rebooting, I tested it, and fortunately, it worked normally. Later, when I heard that another company with the lowest price was selected for the bidding, I was heartbroken. However, this event served as an opportunity to establish a baseline for my future IT pre-sales work. There is no doubt that it helped a lot in successfully carrying out a large number of workstations for a certain car. Chapter 19. The Beginning of the Monday Letter. Spring of 2002. The first step was to promote the company's products. I used to send it several times a week. As I sent it like that, I also regularly uploaded the contents on the company website. At that time, the internal network and the external homepage were separated, and since the server was Unix, I logged in remotely to upload an HTML, copied it through several complex processes, and gave permission again before viewing it from the outside. Mainly, we dealt with the necessary matters and tips when using Katia v4, v5 on SGI workstations. Also, I organized and posted about VR. Then, as the number of people I met increased and the customer situation changed from the past to the present, the Monday letter also changed its personality to share my thoughts with the person I met at least once. Sometimes there are people who are annoying, people who like it, and people who doubt the purpose. In line with the trend of the times, I tried the next cafe, started a neighbor blog, and settled down as tstory.com, which has advantages in storytelling, and it has stabilized a lot. I added my hobbies to photography again, and organized travel stories and PLM-related content when I had time. More than anything, what makes me happy is the fact that I can still get in touch with people I met for the first time 15 years ago. The person who supported the IBM RS 6000 I met at my first job in 1993. Also, a customer who did a project in the past, a person I met at a seminar. It's good to know some of the current business people I got to know during benchmarking, who got to know each other better while having a drink and chatting with each other on a regular basis around Shinchen or Hongdi. Also, if the email is changed, the person who notifies me again. There are people who send sincere replies to the Monday letters every week, which has become the driving force for continuing this work. And, 